interface can be pesky to use, with layers of menus to sort through, but it has handy knobs for volume and tuning. A large center console compartment allows plenty of stowage for items you'd rather not display that might tempt parking lot thieves. Knocking a shin on the rocker panel when entering the Outback for the first time made us painfully aware of its ride height. The Sub-I has more ground clearance than a base Jeep Wrangler Unlimited, 8.7 inches to the Jeep's 8.2. The seats, covered in coffee stain masking Java brown leather, provide hours of comfort. The high roof allows large windows, which combines with the high seating position to make the Outback an exemplar for outward visibility from the driver's seat. Turn your focus to sights inside the cabin and the touring model announces its luxury pretensions with wood grain and metallic look inserts in the dash and door panels. The buttons on the steering wheel are abundant but easy to figure out. Eyes wide open. The camera-based eyesight systems work well, although in this era of semi-autonomy, it must be noted that they are safety assists and do not offer autonomous driving functions. Heavy rains render the camera-dependent system all but useless. The lane departure warning system can also sound an alert if the driver is weaving in the lane. Lane keeping assist bumps the car back into place if the driver tries to change lanes without signaling.